Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between ductile and brittle materials. First, let's start by defining ductility and brittleness properties. Ductility is the ability of a material to stretch into wire or being hammered without breaking. If you notice here, the screw is under tensile stress and it didn't break. You can see this part becomes thinner and it may also become more thin like a wire, but it depends on the type of the material and how much ductility it has. Now gold, copper, titanium, brass, these are kinds of ductile materials. Brittleness is a tendency of a material to break suddenly without notice. For example, you can see the specimen. This specimen here suddenly broke down under specific load. Example on brittle materials, cast iron, ceramic, concrete, and many others. Now let's move to the stress-strain diagram. Stress is the pressure, it is force over area in case of axial load. And the strain is response of the system to an applied stress. It can be determined by dividing the amount of deformation over the initial length of the material. This curve represents a ductile material. Here we have a straight line. It's of a slope E. E is the modulus of elasticity. Here is the yielding point, ultimate stress and fracture point where the material breaks down. Now, before yielding a point is called elastic zone, the material here regains its initial shape. We can apply Hooke's law. Hooke's law says that uh, sigma equals E times epsilon. Now, ductile material should go through elastic region. This elastic region, of course, differs from material to another. And in this part, no matter how much load we apply, the material will get its initial shape after removing the load. Then the plastic zone, here the change in the shape is permanent. It's followed by strain hardening, where sigma increases until it reaches sigma u, sigma ultimate. Then necking region, where the material becomes thin compared to its initial shape. Now, this graph indicates that uh, ductile material goes through more than one zone. It goes through the linear, elastic, plastic, strain hardening, and, and knocking before it fractures. Uh, this part is called uh, resilience. Resilience is the absorption of energy in the elastic zone. However, uh, toughness is the area under the whole curve. which is the absorption of energy by the ductile material before it's, it fractures. Now, even material is a material that has same stress curve in compression and tension. In other words, the curve here in the first quadrant should be the same in the, in the third quadrant, but in opposite direction where sigma ultimate is equal minus sigma ultimate and the same for the fracture and yielding point because uh, as you know that uh, when stress is a positive it is tension and when it is negative it is compression now brittle materials curve is very simple there is a fracture point and yielding a point not far away from it and as you notice that uh, this curve indicates that um, okay here is the yielding point uh, it indicates that the material breaks down without significance because the distance between fracture point and yielding point is very small the same for the strain uh, yield and the strain fracture. Okay, now let's compare both curves together. Uh, 
أو أوكي brittle material absorbs little energy brittle material here absorbs little energy uh, whereas ductile material absorbs higher energy however the fracture point uh, or the fracture stress in the brittle material is higher than the fracture point in the ductile material Okay, here let's compare brittle and ductile materials under these uh, four different uh, different tests: tensile compression and bending and torsion test. In brittle material, the elongation uh, of the material is less than five percent, whereas uh, ductile material has the tendency uh, to to deform before fracturing. Compression in compression test, the fracture occurs when, com when uh, compression uh, test done on brittle material, whereas uh, the ductile material doesn't uh, fracture. In bending test, the, me the beam fractures, whereas uh, in ductile in ductile material it. Uh, the, the failure is uh, by yielding you can check my other video about the difference between fracture and uh, failure now torsion test uh, the fracture occurs here upon twisting and in ductile material the specimen twists here they did experiment on the torsional test they drew a straight line on a ductile specimen and a straight line on a brittle specimen and they applied both to a torsional test by twisting them until they both broke down. They noticed that the straight line in the brittle specimen remains the same, whereas the straight line in the ductile specimen wound up to several revolutions before it, break, it broke. Now this indicates that brittle materials twists upon torsional test, uh, whereas the ductile ductile materials don't twist. Okay, that's all. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe in order to get more videos.